we've certainly logged a good amount of real-world combat experience. Indeed. I feel that I fully understand the fundamentals. The trick seems to be viewing the blade as an extension of my body and swinging it intuitively. That's not one of the fundamentals. That's the final stage of mastery. Oh, is it? Well, I still get frightened every time I fight. You should use that fear to fuel your punches. I do. After all, it's either them or me. If you've taken that lesson to heart, then you're a true warrior in my book. Honestly, I don't know which one of you scares me more.
In here. Is this your house? My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. What do you do for fun out here? My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans, if you must know. Sounds... fun. Let's perform the ceremony. So, is this... okay? Perfect. Thank you. You, Ivor? Lady Mila, I was worried sick. This looks like the rite of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! Lady Mila, what has happened? I cannot believe it. So, why do you think you can't summon the spirits? Are they dead or something? Idiot! A great spirit cannot die! Was I supposed to know that? Just like a lesser spirit, a great spirit becomes a fossil when it passes away. Yet, its power transfers into the next great spirit. At least, that's what they say. Nobody's ever seen it happen. Oh, so I've heard. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Spirits are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Hmm. Well, maybe that device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the great four. But... The four great spirits aren't answering their lord's summons. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. Good old Howe's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <coughs> a Spyrex advanced enough to capture even the four. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila? Now you will all leave. This is holy ground and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh! Oh. Lady Mila wouldn't be in this predicament if it wasn't for you blasphemous fools! For the love of Maxwell, I knew I should have never left her side! Well, Mila wasn't kidding about his short fuse. Hey, are you even listening to me? Uh, yeah, I mean, huh? <laughs> Heed my words! Henceforth, only I shall serve the Lady Mila! Interfere at your peril! You gonna stick around? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back at the village. I 
I have to figure out what I can do. Oh, what's wrong? I thought you were gonna rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers. What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? No, that's not it. So, what are you gonna do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The Lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. Are you planning to go alone? Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I want to know, how come you're so brave? You've taken an interest in me, haven't you? <sighs> Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform. And I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Hey! Yes? Can I come too? With you? Your whole life was turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure. A little bit. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? Y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. Wasn't Alvin with you? No, I think he went back to the village. Took you long enough. I didn't expect to see Mila with you. So, you've made up your mind. Yeah, I'm going with Mila. Whoa, you're quite the flip-flopper. I thought you regretted getting involved. True, but I've made my decision to help her and I'm sticking to it. Is that right? Alvin, thanks for all your help. Oh. I almost forgot. We still need to pay you. Ah, uh, yes. My fee. Well, I ran into some hayseed. He said he'd pay it. One of the villagers? Yep. He was all, thank you for looking after Lord Maxwell, and you saved our spirit. Hmm. That sounds like the Elder. He shouldn't have offered. Alvin, I'll pay you myself. You need to learn how to read your people, Mila. That old man was tickled pink to pay your debt. You'd crush him if you refused. You think so? 
I know so. Anyway, he told me to wait here for him. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? Most likely. We should find him. Don't forget to take care of anything you want while I'm still around. Once I get my reward, I'm out of here. Lord Maxwell, and your companions, forgive me for making you wait. Worry, I hear you've prepared payment for Alvin. Yes, yes. The villagers all pitched in and collected a small fund ages ago. It's the least we can do to help you, Lord Maxwell. You hear farmers, not fighters, after all. I see. Told you. I appreciate everything you've done for me. So my debt is paid. Thank you for everything. Yeah, thanks. It was fun. See you around. And just like that, he's gone. That's a mercenary for you, I suppose. Yeah. Lady Mila! Will you be departing again? Yes. Look after the village. But I would rather accompany you! I wouldn't dare leave your holy care in the hands of this blasphemous, uncouth, shifty, backstabbing stranger! Ivor, tell me again of your duty. My duty? Why, it is to serve you, Lady Mila. And what of your other duty? Uh, to protect the people of Niakara. Those who can't protect themselves. Exactly. And now you see why Jude shall accompany me on this journey. While you fulfill your second duty. But Lady Mila, you wouldn't have lost the Great Spirits if not for him. No, the fault was mine and mine alone. Indeed, if Jude hadn't been there. I might never have returned safely to Nia Kara. 
Thanks. I'm only trying to help. But Lady Mila! The matter is not open to debate. Will you abandon your duty to this village? No. Then let's be off, Jude. I hope they haven't closed off the Sea Haven. So does that mean we'll be passing through Hamil again on the way? Hmm. Yes. That's not a bad idea. Really? Is that okay? It will give us a chance to check up on Rashigal's activity here in Ajul. If we're lucky, we might even find a way to sneak into Fenmont. Gotcha. We'll stop by Hamil then. Safe travels to you, Lord Maxwell. Thank you. Lady Mila! Please return to us safely! So, that woman is supposed to be Maxwell? And you claim she has lost her powers, Pressa? Yes. If she's already hidden the key somewhere, we could have a problem. The fault is mine. I underestimated them. I apologize. If I'd only known that woman was Maxwell, I would have forced her to reveal the key's whereabouts. No matter. It is in our best interest to let her wander freely for now. Yes. Let her attract the attention of Rashigal, while we quietly put all the pieces in place. Any word from Agria? She says they appear to have decided to construct a new key to replace the one they lost. We cannot ignore that. Zhao, you no longer need to watch over the girl. Join the search for the key. But, sir... If the Rashigal soldiers have withdrawn, you need not monitor her personally. It only makes sense for priorities to change. The data is safe, after all. As you say. Pressa, rendezvous with Agria and infiltrate Fenmont. Oh, so it's truly safe to leave Maxwell alone? Yes. We still have another pawn on the board. I'll have him search for the key as well. What is it? I was mulling over our options. What if we can't take a boat straight to Fenmont? Well... I vote against taking the land route from Aljul. Crossing the mountains would be a real pain. Alvin? Alvin? We could head toward Sherilton from Sapstrath Seahaven. We? What do you mean, we? That handmaid of yours offered me a little job. He wasn't so crazy about his exalted spirit traveling with a pipsqueak for a protector. Plus, the good village folk overpaid me. It'd be a stain on my professional pride if I didn't give them their money's worth. <laughs> Very well. Good to have you back. Yeah, thanks for coming along. Thank Ivor and the villagers, not me. So, what's the plan? First, we head to Hamil to investigate Rashigal's movements. If they're still there, that is. Then you better take this. Keep it handy, just in case. Shall we go? My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency.
I don't get it. How could the four great spirits get captured? Fundamentally, the four are masses of mana. The Lance of Kresnik absorbs mana and apparently is able to store it. I never thought that was even possible. Apparently it is. We have to go rescue the four then. I do like the pluck, but this might be a case where a bit of pluck will get you a lot of dead. A pissed off med student's probably not a tall order for the group that bagged the four great spirits. you go after you left the shrine in Niakara? That's a secret for grown-ups. It sounds like you're trying to hide something. Figured that out, did you? Do you want to ask what I was doing? You don't want to tell me, that's fine. If it's fine with you, then I ain't telling. You don't want to tell me? You don't want to ask? I'm starting to think I'd rather not know. I'm starting to think you're probably right. <laughs> 